Welcome to Dropshipping in 2023. There are so many new topics to discuss, including the latest trends and developments in the e-commerce world, as well as helpful tips and strategies for those looking to expand or start their new dropshipping business. Hint. Artificial intelligence is finally here to make our lives easier. Last year, we've helped tens of thousands of dropshippers get their online businesses off the ground and scale successfully. And this year is going to be even better. So whether you're a beginner looking for a good way in or an experienced entrepreneur looking to scale their online business, don't go anywhere because this video has everything you'll need to make this year the biggest for your online business. Quick intro and let's go. Welcome back, I'm Liran, the content manager here at AutoDS, and as you know, in this video, you're gonna learn everything that there is to know about dropshipping in 2023, the biggest year for e-commerce. I've been in the industry for over six years now and still dropshipping to this day because I really believe in this business model that allows you to simply have an online store and sell products without actually holding them in stock. We're gonna dive into the bits and bytes, and I'm also gonna show you the craziest strategies for 2023 that's gonna help your dropshipping business make a killing. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. One second before I get started, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always learn about the latest and greatest topics coming out in the world of dropshipping and e-commerce in general. That being said, don't forget to like and share this video if you appreciate the value. Now let's go ahead and get started and learn about dropshipping in 2023. Starting with all of you newcomers to the scene, first of all, welcome. This is the dropshipping business model. So it's a very low risk and high reward business model which still requires a learning curve to learn how to do it correctly, but once done well, you're gonna have your own online store and you're actually gonna sell products without holding them in stock. This means that you do not have to pay upfront for inventory and you don't have any business expenses, at least not until you start making sales. And then you can use the profit from those sales to further grow your online business. And I'm gonna show you the best examples in this video. But basically, you're gonna work with dropshipping suppliers that have millions of products that you can resell and you're going to sell those products on your selling channel. Channel, we're gonna go over selling channels too. So the biggest takeaway for being a successful dropshipper is knowing how to research the right products to sell, sell them on your online store and target the right audiences. And to conclude, you as the dropshipper, you get to keep the profit between the source price, how much the supplier is charging you for the product and how much you are charging your customer. The difference between those two prices is your profit in your pocket. Now let's dive deeper inside and get to understand exactly how we can run this thing, how to get started. And one quick note, everything that I'm going over in this video, you can also read about it in the blog, which I'll leave a link to right below this video. Now, before we continue, I want you to take a good look at this graph right here by Grandview Research showing you the dropshipping market size projected between 2015 all the way down until 2025. So this is where we're at now. This is 2023 and you can see the growth from the previous year and from every year before that. And that's also a good example of what I've been seeing in my online stores. Every year the sales are increasing. Every day I have more and more shoppers on my store. And if you're here for the long game, this is what you're gonna expect to see in the next couple of years. So it's almost going to double in value, double in revenue, double in profits for the next couple of years. You just need to know how to play the game correctly. And as you know, I'm gonna go over the best tips and tricks in this video as I've been doing for years now, but this is just to give you an example of where we're headed. So if you're asking yourself, is it too late to join the game? It is definitely not too late. If you're asking yourself, Will my customers know that my products are dropship products? Will they know that it's from a dropshipper? The answer to that is 99% of them won't know and 99% of them will simply not care. When your customer gets the product that they ordered on time and the product description is the same as the product that they received, they're gonna be happy with their product. They won't care what it says on the package, what it says on the sticker, whether there is a price or not. We're just gonna make sure that they receive the products on time, that they are the right products and that is what's important here. But we're gonna get to all of this soon. Let's go over some of the advantages of dropshipping in 2023. First of all, as we know, it has little to pretty much no upfront investment since anyone with an internet connection and a computer can create an online store and start selling today. It's easy to start, it just requires a learning curve, which is what I'm gonna help you with. It's very scalable, so the scalability here is high. Because we're not holding these products in our stock, 
it's easy to also test new products, research the market, see what works well, remove those that don't work and keep adding more products that have success. And it's always easy to keep the cycle moving because you didn't put any upfront investment in your inventory. So if there's any product that's moving slow, it's not making any sales, simply delete it from your store and test another category and test more products. But when you're actually holding these products in your stock, in your shelves, then, well, you're gonna have to sell it before you move on to new products because you're gonna need that money to invest into new products. So it's a very scalable business model, especially when you add in dropshipping automation, which we'll also talk about soon. Then we also have a lot of flexibility and freedom because we're working from the comfort of our own computers. This means that we can work while we travel, we can work from anywhere around the world, and we don't have to be in any physical office in order to get our job done and to start earning our income. Now, on the flip side, some of the disadvantages of dropshipping. It's more difficult to build brand awareness. And the reason for that is it's hard to create a brand over a product that's not really yours. When you're dropshipping someone else's product, you can't really label it because somebody else already manufactured it and labeled it with their own brand. But that still doesn't mean that you cannot brand your products. We also have lots of content on how to brand your store, even if it's a dropshipping store. So if you want access to that, let me know in the comments below and I'll send you the link. But that is one of the pain points for many dropshippers. The second is learning how to find reliable suppliers because there are so many suppliers out there. Some are retail suppliers that are not so dropshipping friendly as opposed to other suppliers that are wholesale suppliers and super dropshipping friendly suppliers. So you'll need to know how to find reliable suppliers that will not only support your business, but will also offer fast shipping times, good prices, product reviews, high quality products, international warehouses, and more. Now, besides that, we also have a high competition. Now, that doesn't mean that the game is over. When we see competition, we always learn how to outshine our competition by creating better websites, better product pages, better products to sell, and better products that go along with them. And more strategies like dropshipping to different regions, creating better ad copies, and so much more strategies to outwork our competitors and always stay on top. And if you wanna learn more about that, just check out the content on our YouTube channel and on our blog page. And another disadvantage of dropshipping is that we simply have no control over the stock and over the prices of our products. That's because we're not actually holding them in stock as you may know by now so our suppliers have control over their stock and when they run out of stock we run out of stock when they change their prices we also need to change our prices and once we have hundreds and even thousands of products in our online stores this is exactly where automation comes in so when using tools like AutoDS, you can automate all of your prices in stock. So if it changes on your suppliers' websites, it will also change on your stores accordingly. So that's another disadvantage when it comes to dropshipping that you can easily counter when you have the right knowledge and tools. Now, before we dive further into selling channels and what suppliers to use and profitability and taxes and all of that, I wanna share some of the best selling categories, best selling niches for 2023. So keep your eye out for these products. First off, we have facial beauty rollers. These babies have been trending for a while now and we have new variations coming out from them all of the time and it's easy to notice the increasing sales trend year by year on facial beauty rollers. So make sure to add them to your stores and don't just add one unit, but add at least 20 different variations from every product recommendation that I'm passing to you in this video so that you can really test the market, see what works and not just create assumptions and conclusions and summaries from testing just one product. Next kids straw lid insulated water bottles. So we have regular water bottles, which is a very general product and difficult to sell. Then you can narrow it down to insulated water bottles and narrow that down even further to kids straw lid insulated water bottles that of course come with a straw lid with a permanent straw. And these have been selling like hotcakes and are expected to continue selling really, really well throughout 2023. Product number three, rechargeable electric men's shaver. With so many new variations coming out all the time, this is a niche that you simply do not want to miss out on. And if you want more info on these products, who's selling them, what ads they're running, where they're buying it from, how much they're profiting, how much sales these sellers are making who are doing a real good job selling these products, be sure to head over to the Sell These Now playlist on our YouTube channel and to the AutoDS blog page under the category for product finding and best sellers. If you want links to them, let me know in the comments below and I will send them to you. Where there we show much more information on each and every one of these products and in-depth 
hardcore statistics that you're going to have to pay lots of money for other tools to gain access to. So just let me know in the comments below and I'll send it to you for free. Next, lift top coffee table. And what's good about this one, not just that it's an advanced coffee table with all kinds of cool storage functions and units, but it's also a medium to high ticket selling item. This means that every time you make a sell, you're going to make a lot of profit because we're all profiting in percentages and these coffee tables sell for around two, three to four hundred dollars and you're even going to find more expensive ones. So when you're selling these lift top coffee tables, enjoy the profits that come along with it. Next, silver charm set for bracelets. Another huge seller for 2023, especially during holiday times when people buy a lot of gifts for their loved ones, for their friends and for their families. But jewelry sells well all year long. It's an evergreen niche. And when we have our online stores, we're also going to notice sales trends between products that are seasonal to products that are evergreen. Seasonal products are those that sell well only in certain seasons, like for example, Christmas products usually don't sell well around May, June, July, but they'll sell really well around October, November, and December. So those are seasonal products that have high peaks and then high falls. On the other hand, we have evergreen niches, which don't peak as high as seasonal, but they do maintain a steady line throughout the whole year. So evergreen products work really well and jewelry products go under the evergreen niches that sell well all year long. The next best selling product for 2023 are not just your average cell phone holders, but adjustable cell phone holders that you can move around, pivot, twist, play around with the height and so forth. So these phone holders are gaining huge popularity and they're expected to make crazy sales during 2023. Next, wireless gaming headsets with microphones. Now today, pretty much every gaming headset comes with a microphone, but some can be internal where you know, we can't really see them and some are external as you can see in this thumbnail right here. The main point is the gaming industry is growing rapidly year by year. And with that, gaming accessories are going to sell really well along with that. So don't just keep your eye on wireless gaming headsets, but also think about wireless keyboard and mouse combo sets, mouse pad for gamers, and more accessories like LED lights and things that gamers love to have in their gaming rooms. Next, door hanger hooks. And this seems like a very simple product, but door hanger hooks are another example of an evergreen niche that sells all year long. I even bought these hooks that we're seeing right here. So these black ones, I bought eight of them in the previous year. So I'm also a consumer who buys door hanger hooks and there are millions more like me. Next, indoor fitness trampoline. Home fitness has become a huge success during 2022 and in 2023 it doesn't look any different so focus on home fitness products as well as indoor fitness trampolines that come along with it but also keep your eye on other home fitness products that are going to sell well during 2023 next portable dog play pens pet supplies are great sellers. They're not seasonal. They sell all year long. And these portable dog play pens have been making a hit recently. And this year it's expected to reach new heights. Now let's talk briefly about what product we should avoid drop shipping during this year. And if you're a newcomer, this is going to be really valuable for you. So while there are tens of millions of products that we can resell, that we can drop ship, we also need to know about the products that we cannot drop ship. It's important not to sell these products so that you won't have any problems, any legal trouble with your stores, with your customers and so forth. So first of all, stay away from trademark products from big brands that you've probably heard of sometime before and any other big company that's familiar products that are patented that are copyrighted and if they are you'll probably also read about it in the product description if you're working with AutoDS and you try to add a product that's been trademarked patented copyrighted and so forth we have a huge database that's updating daily with new Vero keywords and Vero stands for verified owner rights program that eBay is running to scan all of their listings and make sure that no one is selling products that they're not allowed to resell. But on the other hand, you also can sell them in other selling channels like Shopify, Wix, WooCommerce, and others that we're going to talk about soon. Do not sell products that you're not allowed to. And with AutoDS's Vero database, if you try to add a product that you cannot resell, you will get a warning message. So you can always take a step back and think about if you really want to proceed with the importing process for that specific product. So once again, stay away from copyrighted items, stay away from age restricted products, from dangerous goods like those that have choking hazards for little kids stay away from tobacco related products firearms weapons drug paraphernalia medicines supplements and so forth so stay away from everything that even sounds a little bit dangerous to you and do not worry because as i mentioned there are tens of millions of products that you can resell so now that we know a little bit about the drop shipping business model what we can sell what we cannot sell and what product trends we're expecting to see this year Let's go over the top dropshipping 
shipping suppliers for this year. Now I'm going to start off with retail suppliers and then move on to wholesale suppliers. So the first supplier in the retail suppliers that you should work with is AliExpress. I'm sure that you probably heard of them by now and they're a great entry point for beginner dropshippers to start off their businesses because they simply have pretty much any product that you can think of. Another thing is that they also have the AliExpress dropshipping center and I also have a full video showing you how you can work with the dropshipping center. If you want to link to it, let me know in the comments below and of course I will send it to you. But in any case, this dropshipping center is going to help you find trending products to sell every day, every week, every month and every year. You'll also see a sales trends history for every product as well as the best product recommendations that you should be on the lookout for. Another advantage is that their prices are super super low, you will most likely not be able to find cheaper products than you will find on AliExpress. So first is the range of products, then it's the prices of products which are very, very low, and they're a super dropshipping friendly supplier that offer you the dropshipping center absolutely for free because they simply want to help dropshippers make more sales. Of course, consumers make up a lot of AliExpress's sales, but AliExpress cannot ignore the dropshippers who make them millions of dollars every month. And there is no reason for you not to join the ranks of those dropshippers. Start off with AliExpress, but do not just work with only one dropshipping supplier, especially because they all come with their disadvantages. For example, AliExpress is a Chinese supplier and they're also a marketplace. So they have lots of different sellers on AliExpress it's not just one seller and one warehouse, but it's actually made up of lots of Chinese agents who actually create dropshipping stores on AliExpress because AliExpress doesn't really own any warehouses. So there's a lot of sellers who are creating online stores in AliExpress and they are dropshipping the products to you, the dropshipper or the, or the end customer, depending on who you are. But most stores on AliExpress are Chinese dropshippers who are dropshipping these products from other Chinese sellers who you do not have access to because those Chinese sellers are simply not open to selling to the Western world, to the United States, to anywhere else outside of China, and their stores are all in Chinese, so you won't really have access to them. And that is where the Chinese dropshipping agents come in the middle. This whole world is one big dropshipper, and once we learn how to notice and realize that, we can also learn how to fit ourselves into this game. So that's enough about AliExpress, but some of the disadvantages is that they come from China. And that means that most of their products are being sourced from China, which means long shipping times. Customers today do not like to put up with long shipping times, especially not this year. It's not 20 years ago. People want to get their packages now, as soon as they order. Nobody wants to wait two to three to four weeks to get their packages. So today we're going to look for suppliers who have warehouses in the same country location as our target audience. For example, if we want to drop ship to the US audience, then we're going to have to look for US suppliers who can ship quickly to there. Now, does that mean that you should not work with AliExpress because their shipping times are long? The answer is no, because as soon as you go through product research and you research all kinds of sellers on AliExpress, you will find those who can ship quickly and you'll also find those who have warehouses in the US since AliExpress is slowly expanding worldwide. So keep all that in mind. Let's move on to supplier number two and that is Banggood. Now Banggood also has lots of products that you can resell. They're a super dropshipping friendly supplier. So they're just looking and waiting for dropshippers such as you and I to start doing business with them. Go to Banggood's website you'll see that they're pretty similar to AliExpress's look. They have pretty much the same categories, but different products, different price ranges. So if AliExpress ever lets you down, you can always move over to Banggood or of course to other suppliers. And once again, do not just rely on Chinese suppliers because they're really far away from us. Customer service can sometimes be a problem because their English isn't all that well. And there's a lot of Chinese holidays which we need to take into account because during those holidays, nobody from China is going to ship out our orders, which means more angry customers for our stores. The next supplier is Amazon and take this one with a grain of salt. They've been a great dropshipping supplier for years and years, but recently they've started locking buyer accounts out of their accounts once once they notice that you are dropshipping on their platform. By the way, The Boys here is a great show if you haven't watched it yet, but that's out of topic, so let's get back to it. If you're dropshipping from Amazon and they'll notice that you're dropshipping because you're purchasing five, 10 products per day and each product is going to a different address, they know that you're a dropshipper, then you'll be locked out of your account and you'll have to find different alternatives. However, you can use them as a small supplier on the side. If you only have a couple orders per day, or if you have multiple Amazon accounts, you can make your way better as long as they are not linked to one another, but that just makes the game a whole lot harder. So as much products as they have, and as fast as they can ship, and as good as their return policies are, 
we need to diversify and not work only with Amazon. The next great supplier is eBay, and you can only use them as a supplier if you're not using them as a selling channel. Now, just like Amazon, eBay sells pretty much everything from everything, from every category that you can think of. They are not just an auction marketplace like they used to be, but today they have so many different sellers. It's an online marketplace where you have thousands of sellers selling their products and lots of free organic traffic coming to these sellers. So anyway, if you're not using eBay as your selling channel, but now remember the suppliers is where you're getting the products from and the selling channel is where you are selling the products to your buyers. So if you're not using eBay as your selling channel, if you're not selling the products on eBay, then you can use them as a supplier, grab their products and resell them on your selling channel. They've got great prices. You've got buyer and seller protection. It's easy to spy on the competition on eBay because you can easily see what sellers are selling and how many times they've sold those products and they have reliable customer support. The next supplier is Etsy, relatively new to the dropshipping scene, but they have been here for a small while now and they are big enough to already make a substantial effect on the world of e-commerce. They started as a marketplace for artists to sell their photos, to sell their images, just like eBay started as an auction marketplace, but slowly they're expanding to anything and everything. Right now, their main categories are arts and crafts, party supplies, craft supplies, and vintage products. But I have a feeling that slowly they're going to be much more than that. But already today, you can notice tens of thousands of shoppers and sellers selling lots of products, and you can use Etsy as a supplier, especially if you are into the arts and crafts niche. The next retail supplier is Wayfair. Now, Wayfair specializes in the home niche, just like Home Depot, and Home Depot is another great supplier, and Wayfair also offers quick two-day shipping. They have a My Way program, which allows you to make more profits, giving you more discounts for your orders, and they also have global warehouses, allowing you to target more audiences around the world and make more sales to them while having a large product range. So this is another supplier that you wanna to add to your list for 2023. Then we have Overstock, another huge supplier with tens of thousands of products for you to resell. But what I like about Overstock is that they also have a price match guarantee program. This means that if you sell a product, let's say you paid $20 for a product, you sold it for $40 and you made your profit, but let's say the product cost you $20 and two days later you come back to Overstock and you notice that the price dropped to $15. So what you can do here is reach out to their customer support and you're like, hey, I just purchased this product and I paid $20 for it. Now I can see it's being sold for $15. And then what they'll do is they'll send you that $5 difference refund back into your account. So more profit for you if you notice a price drop after you made the sell. Now let's move to wholesale dropshipping suppliers. So we're moving out of retail and moving into wholesale, the more dropshipping friendly suppliers, starting with one of my personal and professional favorites, CJ Dropshipping. I also have a video of the top 10 products to sell from CJ Dropshipping, which also includes the seller's Facebook ads, where they're sourcing their products from, how much profit they're making, and of course, all of the links to learn from and take those best practices and implement it into your own stores. If you want the link to that video, let me know in the comments below and I'll send it right over. Now, one of the great things about CJ Dropshipping is that they can also help you with print on demand. So if you wanna sell print on demand products, they can help you with that as well as sourcing your products. So if you're working with some Chinese supplier and you wanna look for a better source, a better supplier, better prices, and better conditions for that product, let CJ Dropshipping know that you're looking to source this product and they will help you find a better supplier for it. And to take it one step further, if you found a best seller while you're dropshipping, they can also help you source that product and put it in a warehouse where you can sell actual physical stuff stock. But as a beginner, don't look into physical stock yet. Continue dropshipping, continue testing the market and finding those winners. Another great thing that I love about CJ Dropshipping is that they actually have quality control. They go over the products that they resell on their website and they do ensure that they are made of high quality. So not only do you have thousands of products to resell, not only are they super dropshipping friendly, but they also offer all of the features that I just talked about, which makes them stand out from other suppliers. The next wholesale supplier is Alibaba. Now, this is another super dropshipping friendly supplier. The only thing is most sellers on Alibaba require an MOQ. That stands for minimum order quantity. And if you want to order something from there, you'll probably have to put up with that MOQ. So this means that 
more than half of the products that you'll want to buy on Alibaba, you'll actually have to purchase inventory. So try to look for the products that the sellers can drop ship. And this way you won't have to put up with the minimum order quantity. Just check the shipping prices because most shipping prices from Alibaba are relatively high since they mostly work with FedEx and other high end shipping carriers. So even if a product costs $1, you may pay $30, $40 on shipping, which won't make it that worthwhile. So keep your eye out on these things, but do keep Alibaba on the side, especially if you're looking for the hybrid dropshipping business model, which means you're going to test the products using the dropshipping business model. And every time you find winners, you're going to negotiate with a manufacturer in Alibaba, purchase stock and sell that product from stock while continuing to test the market with the dropshipping business model. The next wholesale dropshipping supplier that you should work with in 2023 is DHgate. Now DHgate is another online marketplace. And when I say marketplace, I mean that they are not one seller, but rather a marketplace that has many sellers selling their items. So that's what's going on in DHgate and their layout looks kind of like AliExpress and Banggood's layout, but they have tens of thousands of products that you can resell, although they are mainly a B2B business model, so business to business, but you as a dropshipper, you are a business and you can easily work with them and enjoy their low price and high quality products. And lastly, on the list of wholesale dropshipping suppliers to work with in 2023, we've got Costway. One of the things that I love about Costway is that they offer a 90 day return policy. Now, most suppliers are either going to offer 14 to 30 days and there's all kinds of conditions that you have to meet in order to get approval for those returns. But in Costway, you have 90 days, that's three months, and that's a really good service that you can offer your buyers because most of your competitors are not offering 90 day returns. Their standard shipping is also free, so no surprise in shipping costs, and they also offer a cashback program so that you can make even more profits from your orders. So now that we learned about the dropshipping business model in 2023, and we went over some of the best selling categories categories and best suppliers to use, whether retail or wholesale. Now let's learn how to start a dropshipping business from scratch and take it step by step. First of all, you want to determine your business requirements. And this means learning the ins and outs of the financial part of your business. In other words, what are the taxes that you have to know about? And when we're dropshipping, of course, we have a business on the side, whether it's your main business, whether it's a side hustle, we all most likely live in countries where we have to tell the government about our income. So we have to pay an income tax, but there is more taxes on top of income tax, like sales tax, customs duties, and so forth. And if you want to learn about all of the taxes that you need to know about when running your dropshipping business, we have a fully detailed article and video embedded inside. So let me know in the comments below if you want it. And of course, I will send you the link. But this is step number one. Know what your taxes are, what your business requirements are, and how to come about it. Number two, find winning products. This is product research and this is where things get interesting. This is one of the most important parts when running your dropshipping business because if you're not selling products people are looking to buy, then the rest of your work, all of the rest of the hours that you're putting onto your business won't really matter because no one's gonna buy your products, you're not gonna make sales, not gonna make profit, and that of course is not what we are here to do. So in product research, we're going to put hours and hours of and hours into it and not give up because if products don't sell, we can easily replace them with those that have a higher chance until we finally start making those sales. And then the ball starts to roll bigger and bigger and bigger. And as time progresses and we get better at product research, better at finding those winning products while continuing to test the market for more products that will sell. So this part is really, really serious. Put lots of time down onto product research with these best product research methods. Number one, check out the marketplace tab inside AutoDS. If you're not an AutoDS member, at least not yet, you won't be able to see this, but take this into consideration once you sign into the system. And if you are using AutoDS, you already have access to this marketplace. It's included inside your AutoDS subscription. And in here, you can browse thousands and thousands of best selling products with our huge database of winning products. And not only are you gonna get these winning product ideas, you can also import them to your store by just hovering over the product and clicking on import draft and you have more product information once you click on it including the product specifications the product descriptions the selling policies and the reviews that the product got from other buyers and once again an easy import system and some of the things that you can filter here are what categories you want to find these products in where you want to sell the products to so what country you are targeting as well as where you want it to ship from so what warehouses are you targeting 
as well as price ranges, suppliers, and so forth. You'll also have private suppliers inside this marketplace where only you'll have exclusive access to the products that are listed here, meaning you are going to be unique and easily outshine your competition with hot selling trending products. Once again, this is included inside your AutoDS subscription. So take advantage of this marketplace, of the trending products that we have here, and enjoy those extra sales and profits. The second method for finding best selling products, shaving a lot of time off of your work and simply being able to find winners much, much faster than any other conventional way and without having to pay any paid tools for this type of information is our blog page under the product finding and best sellers category. Once again, if you want the direct link to it, let me know in the comments below and I will send it over to you. But here, what you have is the best selling products from all kinds of different categories. Let me just jump into one of these articles and show you what we have inside. Now, not only will you have the embedded videos, so if you're the type that likes to watch, you can watch, but here as we scroll down and we start getting to the products, you'll notice that not only are we sharing these products with you, but we're also sharing with you the seller's Facebook ads, their websites, and where they're sourcing these products from. So you can actually see how well these products are selling, performing, and how much profit these sellers are making. Like for example, this next supporting round pillow right here, I can just click on the seller's Facebook ad and I will see how popular this product is. So right here, we've got 12,000 engagements, a video ad with 2,400 comments and over 4 million views. So obviously you can get a good picture here that this product is probably selling pretty well for this seller. And if I click on the seller's website, then of course we can check out their website and see if they did a good job trying to showcase this product. In this case, I don't really like it because they didn't use the best image here and it just looks really bad. And I'm sure that you will do a better job once you get your store up and running. And you'll also have a link, of course, to the supplier, the source, so that you can really see that they're purchasing the product for a really, really low price, making a potential profit, at least in this product, of $14 profit every time they make a transaction. And you're also going to notice different profit margins here. You're also going to find products that have over $100 in profit and $200 in profit for every time these sellers make sales. And you can just take these product ideas from them and add them to your stores, add similar products, do a better job on your product pages, do a better job on marketing and learn how to beat your competition all from reading a blog article. Now the same goes for our YouTube playlist under the sell these now playlist on our YouTube channel. Once again, if you want the link to it, let me know in the comments below and I'll send it over to you. In this playlist, you have videos of all of the best selling products along with the rest of the information that I just shared with you. So once again, if you're the type that likes to watch, watch these videos. And if you're the type that likes to read, go to the product finding section on our blog page. Those are the top product research recommendation tools that I offer to you and they're absolutely free. Now, besides getting everything handed to you on a golden plate, there are more things that you can do like learning how to spy on the competition. For example, if you're selling on eBay, you can search for the product that you wanna sell and see other sellers who are selling it and if they have any success in selling it in the first place. And you can use other tools for other websites to be able to spy on them like spy tools for Shopify and other hosted websites. Of course, we have content on that too. Let me know if you want it and I will send it to you. But spying on the competition is another way for you to learn what products are selling well for others and learn to implement the same practices inside your stores. Now, another good method is checking social media hashtags. Like if you go to TikTok right now and search for hashtag TikTok made me buy it, you're going to notice a lot of successful dropshippers who are able to market their products organically through TikTok and make thousands and thousands thousands of sales and that's going to get you more ideas of what products you can also sell on your dropshipping store as well as also checking Google Trends and implementing the Google Lens strategy in order to take advantage of Google Lens and using that as a reverse market method to see where online sellers are getting their products from and of course we have content on that too. Here's the article right here how to use Google Lens to find best selling dropshipping products. Once again if you want the link to that let me know and you'll have it in the comments below. Now there are many more methods for conducting product research, but these methods will give you a huge jump start and hundreds of product ideas that you can start to implement right off the bat. And on a final note, before I conclude the product research section, here is a product research dropshipping spreadsheet that will help you narrow down the most profitable and products that have the highest chance of selling in your stores using this spreadsheet. So what you're going to do is fill in the product's information, answer the questions that you have here. And once you answer yes to all of the questions on one specific product, you'll know that that product has a much higher chance of selling than other products that you'll add to the spreadsheet. So if you want access to this product research 
dropshipping cheat sheet, let me know in the comments below. And of course, I will send it right over. Now that we're done with product research, you have a list of high potential products to sell on your store. It's now time to find a dropshipping supplier and get these products and import them to your stores. Now we already went through the list of the best suppliers that you should work with in 2023. And I also talked about the things that you should look for in dropshipping suppliers, like having warehouses internationally so that you can ship to more places and make more sales, fast shipping times because nobody wants to have slow shipping times today, reliable shipping carriers that offer tracking information. And this of course is important because we wanna use the tracking information to provide proof to our buyers that they did receive the product or that the shipment is on the way, wide product range so that we'll have a reach to more and more product and categories to sell, affordable and high quality products, products that get positive reviews so that we'll know that they're of high quality and we won't have to purchase them to our homes and test them out first and suppliers that offer exceptional customer service. We want suppliers that can answer to our questions as fast as possible because just like our buyers are waiting for us to answer them, we want our suppliers to also be able to answer us quickly so that we can do the same to our buyers. And make sure that your suppliers offer great return shipping and payment policies. We wanna have a good payment gateway with our suppliers. For example, if we're drop shipping on eBay and we're collecting payments through Payoneer, then we also wanna be able to pay our suppliers with Payoneer. And this way, everything stays under the same house. And it's much easier for your local accountant to do the finance work at the end of the month with your business expenses, incomes, and taxes. So use the suppliers that I mentioned above. And of course, keep your eye out for new dropshipping suppliers that may or may not come out during this year. Your next step, number four, is to choose a dropshipping selling channel. So now that you have your products and you know what suppliers you're going to use to get these products, you wanna be able to sell these products somewhere, right? So this is where the selling channel comes in. So you grab those best selling products from your suppliers and you import them into your selling channel. And these are the leading selling channels for 2023. We've got Shopify, Wix, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Shops, eBay, WooCommerce, and also Amazon. So with online host providers like Shopify and WooCommerce and Wix, these platforms allow you to host your own online customizable website out there on your own custom domain name. So www.yourstorename.com and you need to customize your store from A to Z. Now, thankfully with today's technology, we don't have to have any coding tools in order to create a high converting and professional looking online store, even when we create a fully customizable store on Shopify, Wix and WooCommerce. And of course I have guides for any selling channel that you want to learn on. So all you have to do is let me know in the comments below, which I said about 20 times in this video, if not more, but guys, whatever you need, whatever you want to get, whatever you want to learn, just let me know and you'll get the value. So one of the advantages here on Shopify, Wix, WooCommerce, and those types of platforms that allow you to host your own online store is that it's fully customizable. You can completely build your brand around it. And it's also easy to scale because no one is limiting you to the amount of products that you can sell every day. Now, on the other hand though, when it comes to marketing and showcasing your products, you're not gonna get any organic traffic here. And organic traffic is simply traffic that came to your website from one source or another where you didn't have to pay anyone or any service provider to get that traffic to your website. So you're not gonna get any organic traffic unless you have a good blog page and you're getting good organic traffic from ranking on high and focused keywords on Google. And if you don't have experience in that, it's gonna be really hard to get this ball rolling. Now, it doesn't mean that it's not possible to do it, but from the bat, from day one, you're not gonna get any, any traffic to your website and you actually have to spend a budget on marketing tactics in order to bring traffic to your website. And I'm gonna go over that soon. But those are some of the advantages and disadvantages when working on your own www.yourstorename.com in places like Shopify, Wix, and WooCommerce. Now, on the other hand, you have marketplaces like Facebook Marketplace and Facebook Shop shops that allows you to host an online store on a marketplace that will simply give you free organic traffic. So as long as you're listing a product that people are looking to buy, then people are going to find your listing automatically and you won't have to spend a dime on marketing in order for that to happen. Now the same goes for eBay. eBay is another online marketplace where you can sell your products and get free organic traffic without spending anything on marketing. Just sell the right products, create a good product title for your product and optimize your product page so that it will look professional and much better than other dropshippers as well as your suppliers. Now, once that happens and you're on point with your product, you're gonna make sales, you're gonna make profit and you won't have to learn about marketing. That's one of the things that I love about marketplaces like Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Shops and eBay. The only thing here is that they 
all also come with their disadvantages. For example, if you want to dropship correctly on Facebook Marketplace, you'll have to be a US citizen residing in the US with a US IP address, and you'll also have to pass an SSN verification once you make $599 in sales. By the way, if you want a full case study on how I manage my Facebook Marketplace account from day one with everything that I did, all the products that I sold, all of the strategies that I implemented, I have a full case study on my Facebook Marketplace account. So if you want to link to that video, let me know in the comments below and you know what's coming I'm going to send it to you. On the other hand, Facebook Marketplace and Facebook Shops is completely untapped by other dropshippers. It's very new, very fresh, and if you meet the requirements, have fun dropshipping and making those sales and profits. On eBay, however, the competition is more fierce. It's filled with dropshippers. It doesn't mean that you're not going to make organic sales. You will, but you will have to work harder on product research on eBay than you will have to work in Facebook Marketplace. The best part is if you want to work with eBay or Facebook Marketplace, you need zero dollars upfront investment. And if you want to work on other platforms like Shopify, Wix, and WooCommerce, then you will have to have a budget for your monthly subscription as well as marketing to bring traffic to your websites. But then again, there are no limits there. Whereas on eBay, you'll have seller limits where a new eBay seller account can only list up to 10 items and you'll have to learn slowly how to scale up your business. And of course, we have more than enough content showing you exactly how to do that. And in Facebook Marketplace, there are no seller limits. So you can list as many items as you want from day one. And like I said, enjoy the sales and enjoy the profits. Just make sure that you meet Meet Facebook's commerce policies, meaning don't sell products that you know that you're not allowed to resell like I went over in the beginning of this video. Then you have Amazon as a selling channel. Now Amazon is huge and you can also dropship on their platform. And I'm sure that you know that Amazon is the world's number one e-commerce giant. And now that you can dropship there too and also add AutoDS's automation there, the skies are the limits and you can really enjoy those sales and profits. So those are the best selling channels that you should consider working with in 2023. Okay, so we finished researching for products to sell. We found dropshipping suppliers to get these products from them and we know what selling channel we're gonna use to sell those products import them from our suppliers' websites to our selling channels. And now the next step is to add automation. Now, I already hinted that automation is going to help you scale your business, and we simply cannot do everything manually. We cannot import all of our products one by one, copy and paste the product descriptions, download the images and re-upload them, and just do everything manually one by one, especially if you want to have hundreds or thousands of products in your store so that you can really make some significant sales and profits. You won't be able to track all of the prices and all of the stock and all of that. So this is exactly where AutoDS comes in and connects you between your selling channel and your suppliers so that everything is automated, including prices in stock. So if the price or the stock status changes on any of your supplier's websites, the same changes will also be implemented in your stores without you having to intervene. Also fast product imports. So if you can import one product, 10 products, hundreds, or even thousands of products from your dropshipping suppliers to your selling channels in just the click of a button with the help of AutoDS automation, as well as automatic orders. So all of your orders can be fulfilled automatically along with tracking number updates as soon as tracking information is available from your suppliers. Everything will be automated from the point where the customer purchases something from your online store all the way until they actually receive the product. And that will even happen while you're traveling and while you're sleeping. This way your customers are gonna get their packages much, much faster and there is no room for human error like sending to the wrong address, forgetting to fulfill some orders and just imagine getting 20, 50 and 100 plus orders per day. You won't be able to fulfill all of them manually one by one. It's going to consume all of your time and you won't be able to grow from there. And that along with great price optimization techniques, easy inventory management, the ability to support virtual assistants and gaining them privileges and access only to the parts where you want them to have access to on your stores and simply managing all of your online stores all from one intuitive dashboard showing you all of your business's metrics all in one place. This is just some of the things that you can get from AutoDS. And if you haven't heard about it, I suggest right now to head over to AutoDS.com and learn about everything that it can do to help not only automate, but also scale your dropshipping business and really make it to the next level. And now that you finally connected automation into your business, you can start importing the products that you found from product research that you have on your suppliers' websites. Now, I'm not gonna go over all of the different import strategies that we have here, but if you want, everything is inside 
inside the article that's linked to in the bottom of this video. But what I do want to show you is how you can take a bad product description because many of our sellers are going to be Chinese sellers who simply don't have good product descriptions. So what I want to do now is show you how I hinted that artificial intelligence is slowly going to help us more and more into our businesses and into our future. And now let's take a small glimpse of how we can use the power of artificial intelligence to create unique product pages that no other online seller has. So here's the draft section of my AutoDS account. And as you can see, I have products here that I can completely optimize before importing them to my store and having them go live for everyone to purchase. Now, if I open this product draft right here, and you can see here in the product description that the English really isn't that good. I mean, the level is really low and there's just, just a whole bunch of text here that doesn't look good. And we've got the seller's name here and dog collar is made of PVC fiber, dog collar and leash set comes with one pieces of dog collar and one piece of... Anyway, we want to revise this product description and make it better. Now you're gonna find some product descriptions that have really, really bad English and some are just not that good and also not structured well like this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to copy all of this text. Then I'm gonna move over to chat GPT. Now it can do so many things, but I'm gonna keep it very simple for product descriptions. Okay, so I'm gonna write right here in chat GPT and it's public, it's free to use. And once again, this tool is simply unbelievable, mind blowing, but once again, product description. So rewrite this product description, use bullet points, and let's also add emojis, okay? then shift enter, paste the text and enter. Now in just less than two seconds, we're gonna get exactly what we asked for. Okay, so FGY, I think that's the seller's name, so I'm gonna remove that. Dog collar and leash set in line in gray, set in line in gray, made of durable, comfortable PVC fiber, quick snap, stainless steel buckle, easy on and off. Color is adjustable for maximum comfort and reliable fit, suitable for small, medium and large dogs. Leave two fingers between the collar and the dog's neck for proper fitting. Three sizes available, perfect for daily use. And we got the emojis right here. Convenient and easy to use indoors or outdoors. So what we did was we took this really bad description and turned it into this really great description with the right amount of information, not too much text. It won't make the consumer tired of reading it and they will get all the right information in bullet points, get the value that they need, see what problem this product helps them solve and continue with the checkout process. Now, the great thing here is that nobody has this product description. You're gonna be 100% unique and you can also have it revise things like remove FGY, from the text. Of course, you could also do that manually, but let's say we had it in more places. As you can see right here, now we've got dog collar instead of FGY dog collar. So of course it helped fix that issue and anything else that you need, you can continue revising and have it do more things like brainstorm a better title for your products. Now we also have an eBay title builder tool. So if you're dropshipping on eBay and you wanna make great product titles, check out our eBay title builder tool. Once again, if you want the link, let me know in the comments below and I'll send it over. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use the power of artificial intelligence to create a much, much better product description page. So I've just copied all, all of that text and I'm gonna paste it right here with the emojis, with the bullet points and save that product description. So this is the power of artificial intelligence and you don't have to have a virtual assistant today to optimize your product pages or simply you can have virtual assistants and save the money that you're paying them hourly for their work because now instead of spending hours and hours optimizing your product pages, they can do it in just a couple of seconds using artificial intelligence. So let's move over to another product that has a bad title like this one, Men USB. So are we purchasing a USB that's male here? So this obviously is a bad title. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this really bad title, copy it, back to artificial intelligence and hello chat GPT, rewrite this product title. Now I'm not giving it any specific instructions besides rewriting. So it's just gonna rewrite it in better English so that you can better understand what this product is. So instead of men USB, it's men's USB infrared heated vest with 17 heating areas, perfect for winter sports and hiking, available in oversized size 5XL. Now it's a really long title, but you can continue optimizing it from here. But what it already did is helped you create a better title that's more understandable when you just read it out loud just like that. And I don't really think we need the men's here in any case. And USB, you can also add it somewhere towards the end. Maybe even after with 17 heating areas, we can write USB. 
and so forth. But once again, use the eBay Title Builder tool if you are dropshipping on eBay. That's going to help you create great product titles. But for any other selling channel, use ChatGPT. So now that you imported the products to your store and you wrote great product descriptions and great product titles with the help of ChatGPT, now your products are finally live on your stores and it's time to market your products. Now, we didn't talk about how to import these products into all the different selling channels because I can't make this video that long, but we have full tutorials for every selling channel. So if you wanna watch a full A to Z Shopify course or a full A to Z eBay course or a Facebook marketplace course or any other selling channel that you wanna learn about, let me know. Once again, comment below, I'll send you the link. And then once you have the products imported inside your selling channels, you want the world to know about it. So now it's time to market those products and let the world know that you are open for business and you're ready to start making those sales. So with Wix and Shopify, you want to learn about pay-per-click ads, email marketing, where you can send out email marketing campaigns to your subscribers. So be sure to collect email subscriptions on your website. And that's going to get you free organic traffic to your website once you start sending out those emails. Then you've also got the blog, which I already talked about. Another great way to bring organic traffic to your website. Just make sure that you are targeting your relevant audience and that you are providing valuable information. By the way, hint, hint, guess who can write a great blog article for you? So let's say that you're selling pet supplies and you want to write a blog article about it. So what you can do is go to ChatGPT and tell it, brain brainstorm 10 blog article ideas in the pet supplies niche, let's say. Okay, now you're going to get 10 good ideas for blog articles that you should write in order to get traffic. So 10 must have pet supplies for new pet owners, the best natural and organic pet food brands, the benefits of using a slow feeder for your dog or cat. And this goes on for the 10 ideas that I asked it to brainstorm. So let's say we're going to go for the first one. 10 must have pet supplies for new pet owners. So next is write 10 headings for an article about the 10 must have pet supplies. And now I see that it's giving me more ideas for new articles on that topic. So that's why it's good to know how to ask the right questions in order to get the answers that you're looking for. So let's try that again. Write 10 topics inside the article on 10 must have pet supplies. Okay, now I'm gonna get the 10 must have pet supplies. So the first is water and food bowls, leash and collar, better crate, pet carrier, and so forth. Then we're gonna start writing an article on this. So what I'm gonna do is break down each topic and write a full article. I would say with a conclusion, but it's probably already gonna know that. So let's just keep it like this. And here we go. So the first one is water and food bowls. It's important to have a good set of water and food bowls for your furry friend. Choose a durable material that's easy to clean and so forth. Second, leash and collar. Every pet needs a good leash and collar for walks and outdoor adventures. And in any case, what we're gonna get now is a full blog article. As we can see, it's being written as I'm talking. And that's it, guys. No need to hire freelancers. No need to pay other people money to do this. You can now do it yourself with the power of artificial intelligence. Create those blog articles. You can easily create 10 blog articles in 15 to 20 minutes. What would in other cases before artificial intelligence would take you one whole day to write one whole blog article. So that is completely crazy. Use the power of artificial intelligence. That is why I sent you the hint in the beginning of this video. Okay, so blog, free organic traffic. You now have the best way to get this moving and not procrastinate on what type of blog I should write, how long is it going to take me, and so forth. Same thing for the email copy. So write an email copy or write an email marketing campaign for my email subscribers, offering them a 10% discount from my pet supplies store. And let's get our email marketing on the way. Dear valued email subscribers, we hope this email finds you and your furry friends well. As a thank you for being a loyal subscriber, we're offering a special discount just for you. For a limited time, take advantage of a 10% discount on all of your pet supply purchases from our store. Simply use the code PETLOVE10 or change it to whatever you want at checkout to redeem your discount. So anyway, we've got a full email right here that was written in under a minute and that is the amount of time that you can save and guys, this has no plagiarism. You may find 5 to 6% plagiarism, meaning it's not copying and pasting text from around the web, but rather creating unique text, unique content to help you with your business. Now, as I mentioned, we also have pay-per-click ads and influencer marketing and an article on influencer marketing platforms that will help you find influencers and negotiate with them 
influencers that have a following with an audience that's relevant to your market. And what they're going to do is simply create a shout out post for your product, for your brand, for your store, and their followers are going to click on your link and hopefully check out. So if you got the right influencer with the right following, you're going to make lots of sales using influencer. And with the help of influencer marketing platforms, as you can see right here, you have a list of the best of them. You're going to learn how to find these influencers. You're going to learn how to analyze these influencers, narrow them down and find the best ones for your business. And besides that, you also have pay-per-click ads. So this is actually running an ad and paying Facebook on Facebook ads for every time someone clicks on your ad. So this can come with a budget, but you'll also learn how to create cheap $5 daily budget ads just to test the market, learn from it, and scale your success from there. So even if you think that you don't have a high budget for running ads, this ebook right here on the ultimate guide to run Facebook ads in eight simple steps for your e-commerce stores is going to help you learn from A to Z how to create successful ads. Just click on unlock your ebook, leave your name and email address, and you'll get free access to this ebook. So that's if you're dropshipping in places like Wix and Shopify and WooCommerce, which requires you to learn online marketing and other marketing methods to bring traffic to your store, because as I mentioned, you're not going to get any free organic traffic there. And then in other marketplaces like eBay, you can use Promoted Listings Advance and Promoted Listings Standard. Promoted Listings Advance is eBay's PPC feature, and the standard simply means giving eBay a certain percentage for every time they promote your listing, but only after you make a sale. So you can learn about those two strategies from the articles that we have on it inside the blog article. But if you want the links really quick, just let me know in the comments below. And if you're selling on Facebook Marketplace and Facebook, Facebook shops, you can also learn how to promote your products using buy and sell groups on Facebook, as well as Facebook's promotion features. You can learn about that also in the Facebook case study that I talked about, because I also ran those promotions on my Facebook store and I showed you everything that I did there. Congratulations, you finally marketed your products and you're making those sales, you're making those profits. Now it's time to fulfill your orders and make sure that your customers get their product. Now for that, I talked about the automatic order methods that you have with the AutoDS system. You can also process your orders manually but remember at some point it's going to be unbearable it's going to consume all of your time and you won't really be able to grow and scale and that is where automatic orders comes in so we already went over that but let me know if you want more information and once we ship out our products our customers get them and we learn to rinse and repeat this business model and continue growing and getting more sales every week every month and definitely every year that goes by we are also going to learn how to provide exceptional customer service to our buyers because returning customers are worth much more than one-time customers where they enter your store, purchase one time and never come back. And in order to get those returning customers, not only do we have to sell high quality products to them, but we also have to offer really good customer service. As soon as a customer reaches out to you, no matter what selling channel you're selling on, be sure to reply to them as fast as possible and give them the solution that they're looking for, even if it's going to cost you time and even if it's going to cost you a little bit of money. For example, if they want to process a return, then process the return for them. Don't try to convince them to keep the product. If they don't know what's going on with their shipment, be sure to answer as fast as possible with tracking information or with their estimated delivery time. No matter for what reason they're reaching out to you, be sure to offer the best quality of service that you can and answer them quickly, just as you would wish to get as a customer. This is going to bring you returning customers. And not only that, they're also going to refer their friends and family to purchase from you. And that is a gold mine. So offer exceptional customer service in your business and you will be here for the long term and enjoy more sales and more profit. I hope that this video of dropshipping in 2023 helped you understand exactly in which direction to go with your dropshipping business, what 2023 is going to bring to us and how every year this business model keeps growing more and more. So if you haven't joined the dropshipping family yet, it is definitely not too late. Stop procrastinating. Start your dropshipping business today and let me know in the comments below how else I can help you with your dropshipping business. This is a small example of the type of content that we have to offer on our YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe. We update our YouTube channel at least two times a week with new videos, new content, as well as our blog page. And I also host bi-weekly live q and every two weeks where you and I have live sessions and I help you with everything that you need as well as a mentorship program and so much more that we have going on. So let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below. Let me know if you need any more links and resources and I will happily send them to you. Happy dropshipping. Enjoy 2023 and I'll see you on the other side.